When I think about community health center, and I took this from Luis. Luis, are you there? The first name is community. Luis McCarthy from LA. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and Annette, where are you? Annette? Annette's got a woo, too. Um, from Colorado. <laughs> woo! <laughs> but community is the first name. We are local. We are patient-governed. We welcome all and represent the people we serve. Don't underestimate the power of that. And we see everyone regardless of their ability to pay. Health is our middle name. And as I reflect on health, it isn't just about comprehensive primary care and the fact that as a primary care clinician and that team, you have to focus on vaccinations and cancer screenings and chronic disease management. But it's also going beyond the exam room, as I like to say, thinking about the acronym health representing addressing housing, the work we do with people experiencing homelessness, in public housing units, in school-based health centers, in mobile health vans, the work we do in education, and a lot, two out of three school-based health centers are connected to FQHCs. The work we do in access to healthy choices and thinking about the social drivers of health, like food as medicine, labor and employment, job training, recognizing that our job as doctors Jack Geiger and Count Gibson highlighted with those first two health centers in Mississippi and Massachusetts, the role of primary care was to also be a Trojan horse to address the broader social drivers of health. Transportation, translation services, and health that integrates physical, mental, social, financial, and purpose. So many things that I didn't learn in medical school or residency, I learned from community health centers. And seeing that, witnessing that again, and feeling that is extraordinary. Center is our last name. And when I consider the impact and the importance of health in our families and our communities and the people we serve, we represent the center of hope, dreams, and opportunities.